Hi guys, I'm Smita. Welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things machine learning and AI related. In today's video, I want to talk about the top five countries that are the best for machine learning engineers to work in and that have some of the best machine learning engineering economies as well. So let's get into it. In the last five years, we've seen machine learning engineering positions and data scientist positions open up within tech. But it's only within the last year or so that we have seen the demand for these positions actually truly explode. And in fact, according to a report by the World Economic Forum on the future of jobs, we can definitely expect to see the demand for machine learning engineers definitely continue to rise even more than it already is over the next five years to even 10 years. And this is not limited to any specific country. In fact, we can definitely expect to see the same trend throughout all economies. But I I believe that the demand for machine learning engineers are truly going to be felt in countries which already have well-established tech hubs and also really good technological infrastructure to go along with that. The reason why I say infrastructure is because you need to have good infrastructure for technologies like machine learning or even cloud computing to actually be adopted in the first place. The second thing is digital literacy. So ideally, a high digital literacy would translate into more customers for the company itself, and also with people who are able to actually use the technologies that the company might be putting out. Another important thing to look at is how local tech companies within that country actually hire talent. Do they hire brand new talent in machine learning or do they plan on upskilling their existing employees or do they expect their existing employees to actually learn these skills by themselves? So this is also something really important to look at. And the last thing we're going to look at is also salaries. What type of salaries are being offered for machine learning engineering roles in these countries? And of course, there's so many other factors involved which determine if a country is actually going to be a great place for machine learning engineering to actually thrive for companies to actually adopt this type of technology and to see if it's going to be a great place for machine learning engineers to actually work in. So let's actually dive in and look at the top five countries for machine learning engineers to work in. This is not in any specific order, but the first country that I'm going to be talking about is Singapore. The reason why I've picked Singapore is because it has an extremely high digital literacy rate, which actually matters. It shows that people within the country actually are able to use digital tools. They're able to make use of these type of new technologies which are coming up. The second factor is that Singapore has an extremely high rate at which it adopts brand new technology, such as cybersecurity, and in this case, artificial intelligence, machine learning, NLP, neural networks, these type of things, it's extremely, it has an extremely high adoption rate. It shows that local companies are actually adopting these type of brand new technologies much quicker than probably other countries. Also within Singapore, we see that the most popular job which is emerging is that of data analysts and data scientists, followed by AI and machine learning specialists. Singapore is also considered as the tech hub of Southeast Asia because it has the Southeast Asian headquarters for a bunch of top tech companies like Facebook, Amazon, Apple, and Google. That's also one of the main reasons why we see that a technology like machine learning is so easily adopted in a country like Singapore. And if you're a machine learning engineer, it's definitely a great place for you guys to find opportunities there. Let's look at some of the salaries that we can expect machine learning engineers to actually get in a country like Singapore. The average machine learning engineer actually earns about 71,984 Sing dollars per year, and that translates to about 54,000 US dollars per year, which if you're comparing it with the United States, it is relatively on the lower side for machine learning engineers. But if we're looking at the range at which machine learning engineers actually earn, we can see that in Singapore, machine learning engineers can earn up to $123,000 per year and as low as $24,000 per year. The next country is Australia. Australia also has a pretty high digital literacy rate of about 65.5%. And also artificial intelligence has a really high uh, adoption rate of 97%. So that's extremely great. And also the top emerging job in Australia is that of AI and machine learning specialists. And in Australia, machine learning engineers make about 77,000 Australian dollars per year, which translates to about 60,000 US dollars per year. So that's 
about the same as what we can expect to see in Singapore as well. And of course, Australia has a bunch of amazing tech companies already working there. So it's also a great place for machine learning engineers to work in. And there's going to be a ton of different job opportunities as well. The next country is the United States, which has one of the world's biggest tech hub, Silicon Valley. And not just Silicon Valley, but we are seeing tech hubs pop up in a lot of different parts of the country as well, such as in Texas and also in Seattle. So the United States does have a pretty high digital literacy rate of about 69.4%. And when it comes to the adoption of technology like machine learning, it's at 93%. And AI and machine learning specialists have one of the most in-demand jobs in the United States. When it comes to what a machine learning engineer actually makes in the US, it's about $112,000 per year, which is significantly higher than the rest of the world. And it's no surprise that a lot of people and a lot of tech talent would actually gravitate towards the US when they're looking for these type of jobs. Next up is China, which also has a very high digital literacy rate of about 71.7%. And when it comes to machine learning, it has some of the highest technology adoption rates of about 96%. When it comes to what we expect to see the most in-demand jobs be in China, number one is data analysts and data scientists, followed by AI and machine learning specialists. Similar to the US, China is also becoming a humongous tech hub, not just in the capital city of Beijing, but we can definitely expect to see way more emerging tech hubs in a lot of other cities as well within China. China also has really amazing technological infrastructure, which makes it very easy for tech companies there to actually adopt brand new technologies. So let's actually take a look at what machine learning engineer actually earns in China. So the base salary for a machine learning engineer in China is about 450,000 Chinese yuan which translates to about 70,000 US dollars. The fifth country is the United Kingdom. Now, although you can't say that the tech hub within the UK is as large as these other countries that I've mentioned, but the UK is famously known for its consulting companies and its fintech and financial institutions. So those companies also definitely adopt technologies like machine learning and data science. When it comes to the digital literacy in the UK, we can see that it's also pretty high at about 61% and 94% of companies who are willing to adopt technologies like machine learning and AI within the UK. And the most sought after jobs which are highly in demand in the UK is data analysts and data scientists, as well as AI and machine learning specialists as with all of these other four countries that I've mentioned. In the UK, the average machine learning engineer makes about 50,000 pounds per year, which translates to about 70,000 US dollars per year. So the top five countries for machine learning engineers to actually work in and find really great opportunities are Singapore, Australia, the US, China, and the UK. In addition to these five countries that I've mentioned, there's actually four other countries which actually deserve recognition when it comes to the opportunities that they provide for machine learning engineers. So this includes India, Brazil, Poland, and Saudi Arabia. Now, although these countries don't have the technological infrastructure that we saw in the top five countries, but we can definitely expect that they actually catch up in the next five years. So I think they definitely deserve a mention. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section below and see you in my next video.